Well, with the sunshine yesterday, it was easy to believe uh, that uh, spring is only 68 days away right now, but uh, we are going to be looking for uh, today to look a little bit more like uh, what you expect this time of the year, and especially tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be really a soaker around here, it looks like. But uh, this morning, we do have to, after having the sunshine yesterday, it was, I don't know if you saw the sunset last night, and it was absolutely spectacular. And then overnight, the clouds rolled in, and we do have a couple little bands of showers that are going to move through mainly this morning. Those are going to wrap up as we head towards late. Later this morning, we should start to see some clearing around midday, and I think most of the afternoon, and we're going to be looking at some sunshine sneaking through before the clouds start to thicken right back up again later on today, of course, and we start to see that steady rain moving in overnight tonight. But right now, you can see we've got one little band of showers now just starting to approach uh, the Everett area, and then a little bit of a break before the next one moves up through uh, the morning commute. But again, as we head towards mid to late morning, that's going to be wrapping up, and we'll see things start to clear out just a little bit. But some pretty good showers over there on the Kitsap Peninsula right now. Look out for a Bellingham Tower Cam. Uh, pretty quiet morning there. You can see the clouds reflecting back some of the city lights up there, looking out uh, towards uh, the water. And there on the Everett Tower Cam, the rain has arrived there. Seeing the raindrop uh, sensor there on the camera. It's always that's one of the best ways to see if it's raining someplace is check out the camera lenses. And it's dried out at least briefly there in Tacoma. You see hardly any wind going on there. The flag barely moving this morning. Take a look at our temperatures. You head out the door. Not all that bad. Mostly in the mid to upper 40s. Places that stayed clearer longer overnight. A little bit chillier. Swim down at 36 degrees. Also 36 degrees in Bellingham. Those clouds, of course, coming up from the south took a little bit longer to cover them up with that blanket to keep them a little bit warmer. Checking the satellite image, you can see yet another system headed into California. That is going to give them another round of rain, mainly from central to northern California, but there's an atmospheric river embedded in here. It's not a real strong one, but it's embedded in there. As Over the next 24 hours, it's going to make kind of a left turn, come up right along the coast. It looks like the main uh, precipitation in that band will be just off the coast, but the edge of it's going to be catching us, especially the Olympic and the Kitsap Peninsula, as it looks like, as we head into uh, tomorrow. It'll kind of stay in place, but weaken as we head towards Friday. So we'll continue to see rain as we get into Friday, but it won't be quite as heavy. And because all these winds are coming up from the south, won't see the usual distribution of rain that you'd expect to see. It'll be a big rain shadow up towards the Strait of Juan de Fuca, just to the north of the Olympics, north and northeast of the Olympics, uh, a little bit farther uh, towards uh, the coast than usual. But we will see quite a bit of rain, and we could see some river rises, oh, mainly over in the Olympics, it looks like. But a lot of rain in the lowlands, which will give us some ponding on some of the roads tomorrow as well. So for today, just a couple showers, mainly this morning. Look for some sunshine this afternoon, then look for rain moving in late tonight. Temperatures low to mid 50s. A wet day tomorrow. Rain at times is going to be breezy along the Cascade foothills and up to the north of Everett. We're going to be seeing uh, the potential tomorrow for increasing avalanche uh, risk and also increasing chance of landslides tomorrow, especially as we go on Friday and Thursday into Friday and accumulate that rain. And we'll see those gusty foothill winds tomorrow as well. Those highest impacts from this are going to be over on the Olympic and Kitsap Peninsula, as it looks like. Beyond that, as we head into Friday, the rain's going to let up a little bit, still breezy in spots, decreasing showers and clearing on Saturday, increasing rain again on Sunday, but it looks like light rain. Partly sunny right now for Monday, and then increasing rain Tuesday. Cooler next week, highs dropping back to the mid to upper 40s.